<laughs> so this video is going to be very very different to anything else I have ever done on this channel. We actually spent a week at a special place that my grandfather bought into called Ingwalala. This is situated within the Greater Kruger National Park and this is pretty much the footage I took on safari in the park. So the first day was very very special. We managed to get into the park by lunchtime and the first evening we just sort of moseyed along to Biffles Bed Boma which is where we found this particular hippo. This hippo was just really, really nice to watch. And while we were watching it, we actually got a very big surprise because the crocodile that was in the pond went ahead and helped itself to a terrapin right in front of us. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. This wasn't the only kill we managed to see this week, but it was definitely the start of an awesome holiday. Sitting, watching the sunset and having a hippo wallowing in the walk in the pond right in front of us was just beautiful for the first evening. I actually felt like I'd gone home. As some of you know, I had worked in the Kruger National Park for more than three years and it was just so spectacular to spend some time back where I call home. Second morning was actually quite a tame one. Uh, we drove around, had a look at a few different things. There was some impala that we stopped for and just enjoying the bush, we did go to Matswari Corner where we managed to see what we call terrapins here in South Africa. Um, America calls them turtles, um, freshwater turtles, but uh, we call them terrapins and it was an awesome day. Later on in the day, we did have some more friends of ours arrive and we went for an evening drive. This is where we got our wild dogs. This was the first one of the Magnificent Seven, which are the seven most sought after animals inside the Kruger National Park. They are very, very rare to see. They're less than 450 within the park at any given time. They're critically endangered species and it was just a spectacular moment to be able to observe these guys in the wild. This particular pack I had seen before, not even 100 meters from where they were lying, but it was three years prior and a lot of the dogs had changed and it was wonderful to see them. So later on in the drive, we did manage to pick up two lionesses. They were in hunting mode, but they were very quickly walked across the road and disappeared into the bush. We probably had about 60 to 70 seconds of visual on them, and then they were gone. It was nice to see them, as it was only our second day. This was number two of the Magnificent Seven, which was fantastic. Lovely sighting, even though it was short-lived. We woke up on the third day bright and early, we had this wonderful time just driving around. We stopped at the first hide, which is known as Elephant Pan Hide. Had a wonderful group of zebras come in and drink, which just created for some wonderful still life photos. Um, it was just a beautiful thing to behold. Um, I love pajama donkeys. They are one of my favorite little things to watch. That evening, we found our first elephant, which was really nice to see. Uh, even though they are very destructive and the Kruger National Park is going to have to cull them soon, it was very nice to see them and in the numbers that we managed to see them in. This trip, unfortunately, we didn't see any breeding herds. They were all adult males, but um, I'll show you some of this. I'll show you some other elephants later on in the video. Yet again, we are up for an early morning start, and the first thing we saw from Aloe Ridge was three big male lines. They were very far off, excuse the shaking of the camera, uh, but it was lovely to see them, and yeah, I've never seen these particular line on Ingualala before, and it was awesome. A little bit later on, we ran into a rhino, which was also just another surprise. Um, so that made four out of the Magnificent Seven that we had seen so far. There was a lot of planes game around. I'm not going to talk about all of it because it, we would be here the whole day. Um, there was a lot of really, really nice sightings of things like giraffe and uh, lots of different bird species. We saw the largest uh, owl in South Africa, which is known as the Varose Eagle Owl, as well as one of the smallest owl species, the Pearl Spotted. Uh, we had just had an awesome time with birds and animals. Uh, in around the camps. I'm not going to talk about them extensively because otherwise I would run out of time. The end of our second last day was just fantastic. We managed to spend it with a adult male elephant and a hippo. These two were not really friends. Actually the hippo 
threatened the elephant a few times uh, with its massive yawn, as it were. Um, this was also at Biffle's Bed Boma, where it's we had been before to see the same hippo. It was wonderful to see. I loved it. I loved every moment of it. It just reminds <laughs> me so much of the African bush and where my heart actually truly lies. That night we also ran Sorry, into a buffalo. Said. The footage of it wasn't the oh, greatest because it was at night. Um, but luckily the next morning he was in the exact same spot so I could actually get a decent bit of footage. Um, he was also a long way off the next morning. Second to last day we got up nice and early to go ahead and have a look for predators. And when we got to main gate we were told of a leopard kill. This was really nice to hear because we hadn't seen any leopard up to that point. So we should, we drove there as fast as possible. Um, unfortunately, the leopard had already moved off. Uh, there were some hyena underneath the tree and a few other odds and ends, but the, hyena, the leopard had moved off. This didn't hurt us at all because we knew that the leopard would be back that evening. We did manage to see the leopard briefly at about six o'clock, but it was just a fleeting glimpse of it walking into the bush. It did come back again at about 7 o'clock, we did man, we had prime seats watching it eating this male impala. It was a wonderful, wonderful sighting. I haven't seen a leopard eating a impala like that in over three years since I left the bush and it was just one of those magical moments you have in the bush. This was number six of our Magnificent Seven we were looking for. Beautiful sighting of a lovely tabby. Big male leopard. He probably weighed about 70 kilos, which was is quite large for a male leopard. But wonderful to see. I loved every moment of it. And yeah, it was awesome. I loved it. Cats are so rare to see in the wild that it's so worthwhile just sitting and waiting when you have an opportunity the way we had. Just sit and wait and watch until he was done. Uh, when he was done, he climbed out the tree, jumped to the ground and immediately vanished into the long grass, which was perfect. It was what we wanted. The next morning, we heard that somebody else had found another male leopard in a tree with a kill. It was near the Bobab. <laughs> But it was also a very, very long way away from the vehicle. Uh, the visual was about 100 to 150 meters. It wasn't a, the greatest of visuals of a leopard. And to try and hold... I mean, even the heat waves were making an effect on the leopard and making it shimmer. So it wasn't the best of sightings. But the first leopard was definitely the highlight of our trip. The second leopard was okay to see and I did enjoy him. But uh, he was a little bit far off. On the way back to camp, we came across a nice herd of elephants, a uh, whole, whole bunch of males that had come together and formed a herd. Um, there was one elephant there that was far exceeded all the other elephants in size, stature, just the overall look of him. I mean, he was a massive male, massive, massive male. Um, beautiful to see. I haven't seen such an old male in a very, very long time. Probably had about 70 pounds of ivory on him. Uh, he also had a radio collar, which was kind of a surprise to me. They're obviously keeping track of these large elephants within the Kruger Park. You can see how his head has already shrunk below his shoulder blades. That is extreme age. And I would love to know how old this elephant really was. Our well, last night, we did a little bit of a drive, came across these two female lions we had seen before, but everything had changed. They were in hunting mode and it was just magnificent to see. Um, we didn't actually get the best of footage of them and they kind of were stalking animals quite far away. You could just see the tips of the ears through the bush. Now, what I cannot show you is what happened off camera. And what happened off camera was a vehicle drove around a bush and a parlor jumped up and ran straight into one of these female lines. And that's where this footage started. And yeah, there was just, you can just see the leg kicking in the air. Even when living in the bush, you don't get to see that many kills. Unfortunately, it was quite far off the road. Light was fading and there were a lot of cars there. So we moved on from there quite quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this other type of safari. 
I'll be back to the regular content next week, but uh, I just thought I might show you some of the African bush and why it has the appeal it has. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below if you want me to get in contact with you.